got a bit off topic. Mm. I'd, really, I'd, I'd really like to know um, what um, what did John Travolta talk about? Uh, pretty much everything is life, movies, different funny stories that's happened through his life and stuff like that, so, you know. And what's he up to now? Mm, you know, he's still just into making movies and stuff. I watched one not long ago that he did, that um, fanatic. Yeah. Have you seen that one? I don't see a lot of movies. He plays like a like a stalker he likes this um movie star and the movie star just treats him bad and he's like get away from me doesn't want to give him autograph or signature so but he just wants his movie star to love him and like him so he just starts stalking him and goes a bit crazy <laughs> and that's pretty good you wouldn't Andrew Vaughn's got his like real, real cut off wig on looks like a toupee yeah sitting there and he's like just a big Hawaiian shirt and just staggers around like he's like a guy with mental problems yeah, yeah. And, well, that's a good movie and does he still fly himself yeah. around mm -hmm. I don't think he flew himself here this time but he still does yeah you've you seen his house where he's getting imported planes up to the house and that oh yeah I've seen that I think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he actually pulled a plane up they got like a front door for the plane to pull up to yeah, yeah right. I find if you fly your big Qantas jet does he go through customs when he lands at home or what when he lands at his home. Yeah, because he's got his own runway and airport yeah, that's where he lands. Impressive. Do they send a custom agent to the house or does his plane go through customs before he leaves? Maybe before he leaves the country they might. Hmm. Should it, and does he, can you ask questions or? No, uh, well, some people got up. There's maybe like an interview going on talking, but then towards the end people ask questions and the people that ask questions, whew, there were some fucking bogans there. Oh, I didn't think they'd let them up. Oh, they were the ones that mainly got up. Oh, no. And they were even weren't questions. Even Paul is like, oh, Jesus Christ, take the mic away from him and stuff. And one guy's like, oh, yes, that, I love you, man. Yeah, this, that, he had dreadlocks. He was half pissed to the wind, I think. And then these other, they were pretty much just making statements, not actually asking a question. Hi, I met you earlier, such and such, and I just think you're great, and I love you, and that movie's great, and I was like, oh my god, but like real fucking Mount Druitt type. And just for the overseas viewers, um, um, a bogan is a basically sort of redneck, redneck trailer yeah. trash, so Lee's actually making... Ding bread. Lee's actually making fun of um, white people here. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know, can, can coloured people be bogans? Can um, Chinese, you know, the Chinese bogan? Or? Oh, no doubt, I reckon, because there's been Chinese people here for... for Speaking yeah. of Chinese, I was at the um, Star Casino. Yeah. And I thought I was actually in Japan or China. Or China, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's popular. Everyone playing, I think. I think one roulette table, I saw a couple of tattered Aussies. The rest, yeah, I thought I was in fucking Ho Chi Minh City. No, no, they were... Um, they must have a lot of money. Yeah, well, that's what they do. They but here's the good line. news. I went to the one, you know, the machines where you can play one cent. Yeah. Because you can play like 50, 60 lines and times it by three. So I put $20 in. I was down to my last $5. I said, fuck it, I'll do the 50 lines and push the times, whatever. And I got three stars come up. You end up getting 15 free spins. And so I said, oh, you get 30 free spins or 15 free spins. And with the 15, you can times it by three or five. We can get 10 free spins and times whatever you win by 5 or 10. So I went middle of the road, 15 yeah. free spins, times it by 3 or 5 times. And by the time I finished with my free spins and stuff, my $20 turned into $222. So I walked away. Well, what are you doing here? You should be... Oh, fuck, she just bit yeah. there. <laughs> Playing the one, the one set machine. Turn a, turn a $20 into 200 Exactly. <laughs> No, that's just to pay for the parking when I left. <laughs> <laughs> so they get their money back anyway when you yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, yeah. No, that's why. Oh, I suspect that it's um, there's like it's uh, one of these things where people. But the thing was, I was so tempted because once it paid that good money, you think, oh, should I just keep playing? Well, I've done that before. Once in a Vegas, I played a machine like that. I think I put in fifty, and I kept going. I'd win some. I'd keep playing. Yeah. I'd go down. And the highest I got up to from the 50 was 800 and something dollars. And I was there for hours because it kept going down. And then when you think you're going to cash out, you get, oh, big ones. They're going to be like, oh, the big one's going to come soon. So after about five, six hours playing this one machine, 
I left with nothing. I should have walked away with the 800. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, it just pulls you in, you're like, oh. Then you start thinking, if I walk away, some bastard's going to come over, put a couple of dollars in and hit the fucking jackpot. So, hmm. But I did hear the best times the jackpots go off are very early in the morning hours, like 3 a.m. and those hours, because everyone who goes out at night, say you're going out for dinner, 6, yeah. 7 p.m., yeah, then, then you play the pokies from like 8 to midnight or 2 a.m., 1 a.m. That's when most people play, so that's when they drag all the money in. So bigger jackpots go off at early hours when not many people are. <laughs> so if we see Lee in the casino at um, <laughs> starting work at 2.30 in the morning. You won't recognise me. We know, me. We know he's got I'm a I'm going to dye my hair black and get some sticky tape. Oh, so you won't oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll blend in. That's my disguise. <laughs> like, oh, that's a big Chinaman over there, isn't it? <laughs> you got tattoos on it. Must be Yakuza. <laughs> no, it's the food van. Or it's the General Lee. Yeah, Jigs has it. John Snyder's here to see yeah. me. 